Hangout Radio, powered by 92 Zoo and presented by Alexander Shannara and Associates. We prove it. And sponsored by Jenny King, GMFS Mortgage, Janino's Pizza, and Dias Construction and Development. And we're back, Hangout Radio Backstage, powered by 92 Zoo. And a uh, fun time we're having. I got Mystic Marge with me. I am Leanne, and uh, we tag teamed. We figured, why not? The girls got the power. We're right, fighting friend? over you guys. Yeah, actually, we've, uh, we've got Phoenix in the studio now. They're slated to play tonight and headline. And first of all, as Marge said, we got to say thank you so much. Knights in shining armor yeah. coming to save Hangout. Yes, yeah, saved Friday night. It's an night. easy one. <laughs> you know, it's not like we had to... Uh, um, it's it's easy to accept this kind of to save this. Uh, it's a gift. We accept it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great on both sides. That's that's what we love. Win win yeah. situation. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking to Thomas Morris and Branco si. from Phoenix, si. and uh, we're very excited to have you guys here. And you're getting ready to drop a new album, right? Tiamo. Yes, June uh, 9th. In June yeah. 9th, so and we're, we're all we started touring uh, about. Ten days ago, we started. I heard from enemy like nme dot com that your show in Atlanta was just outrageous. It really lit the roof. Um, how does that feel to hear something like that? They, like they, you blew everybody away. We needed to hear something like that. You know, it's not like we were jaded and didn't take the compliment. We we worked so hard on this live show that we needed to have the confirmation that we were not totally insane you know that we were connected to people and that they could feel the same things we wanted to you know that they could connect with the show so it was a big relief we uh yeah we spent so much time that we almost lost a little bit of our you know we didn't sleep much to say the least well i heard when y'all were making this is y'all six album correct yes that's right i heard y'all were like held up in an opera house recording it is that right uh yeah operetta it's an operetta. Uh, an operetta. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, yeah, it's... Uh, we were in the... Mi- in, in, it, we tried to find a place. It's as basic as that. A place that was just soundproof in the middle of Paris. Just for convenient reasons. And uh, we found this place that was an old opera, opera house. Uh, and they would rent studios in... On, in the last two floors and so we ended up there uh the held up story i think what you're referring to mystic marge is um the fact that during the terrorist attack we won the opera house and then chris from the band had to there was a lockdown so he had to stay in the in the studio till morning because they wouldn't let people out I think that's what you mean by how. Oh no, I no? I read an article on Billboard and they just said that that's where you guys chose to do this album oh, okay, and y'all okay. y'all. I, though I'm liking that terrorist that attack story. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I, I thought I thought held off meant like you're trapped somewhere or something. No, just oh. like uh, you stayed there for a little longer maybe yes, than normal. Okay. The album took a little bit okay. longer. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we did stay three years in there, so been which was very pleasant apart from that night. But it, uh, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, a great place and and. Uh, and very Parisian and very um, uh, inspiring. So three years making this album, I mean, that's pretty commendable in a world that we live in where it's like, you've got to get your next album out in a year where you've still got to be hot, you know, people are still, not a lot of people do that and that's commendable. And I think it shows, you know, in all y'all's music that I've always kind of done that. And yeah, yeah, we, we've always done that. Uh, we don't have a choice really. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, uh, you know we don't want to release a record if it's if it's not good enough so uh if it's going to take 3 4 10 years we'll just wait so um for some reason we always finish our records on christmas day that's something that i've never understood but um every single record we finished on christmas day it's a present to the world I guess that's the <laughs> Mystic Marge. Um, and I heard one of you guys explain this album as like a disco. Did I hear that? Like Italian disco in a sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, when we mean disco, I think it's distorted. You know, it's through um, the inspirations came from everywhere. And uh, it's easier to be inspired by music that's kind of far from you. Uh, at least for us, 
because we managed to digest it in a different way or to come up with something new uh, when we when we listen to these inspirations. So yeah, it, there's some weird stuff out there. You know, like Italian disco is very, very strange because it's a copy of American disco, and it ha it has something unique to it. It's not meant to be authentic. It's really it's, its own thing, and um, there's a lot of stuff like uh, you know, the inspiration came from everywhere, which was uh, which is something we've always done, not just stick to one thing. And that's what I. Oh, go ahead. Leo. Oh, I was uh, curious as you were talking about um, history and everything. I've heard that 1901 is about like the early 1900s in France. Is that true? Yeah, I read that somewhere. So, do you write a lot when you're writing a lot about um, historic things, or do you, or politics, or politics? Um, um, or not real. I mean, not in a conscious way. It's always a. Uh, uh, I think it's around. The nice thing about growing up, we grew up in Versailles, is that there's <laughs> history everywhere. But then the issue about growing up in a museum is that you can't really create something new. You know, everybody wants the past to shine, and there's no room for anything. So um, we try to come up with something where we could use that inspiration from historical things but at the same time create something new out of it, which is pretty much just a basic survival instinct when it comes to making music though. Oh no, that's one reason yeah. I love hip hop something so much because they take samples, they take something old and make yeah. it new, you yeah. know? Um, I actually read something too about you guys. I read this a couple months ago. I heard y'all, y'all been around, y'all been together since like, what, like 1995, is that correct? 18 years. Yeah, we met, we were teenagers, we met, there's two brothers in the band, Bronco and Chris. And then, uh, well, actually, Bronco and myself are the last one who met, and we were 16. I heard y'all were doing uh, some covers. I heard y'all were doing little Prince covers. We did Prince, and we did Hank Williams. Oh, my God. Hank Williams. Yeah. Do you know there's a Hank Williams <laughs> road here? He's from Alabama. Yeah, we, we do. <laughs> we stopped in uh, Montgomery. We went to visit the museum. We, When we started, we didn't play shows you know we played in our studio and recorded albums and then we were asked just to practice we were asked to play these bar shows uh but they wanted us to play two three four hours a night and we only had like 30 minutes of music so we had to come up with stuff and somehow we played prince and hank williams covers that's which great we, <laughs> we won't play anymore because they are just uh disrespectful but they they want you know we the inspiration came from that like i think there's a lot of even if you don't hear in the new in the music there's a lot of inspiration especially from the lyrics because they are um to me hank william lyrics are very simple in the most noble sense of the term you know that they are very pure and very uh straight to the point and yeah it's country music that's you know how it was but that's so awesome to hear you guys all the way in france listen to hank williams when you're 16 years old and that's what inspired you and now you're in alabama on in gulf hank shores at hangout music fest we played the ryman what four Nashville? nights ago yeah oh wow that's so another historic a, place yeah. um man in black and you guys are playing main stage tonight Yes. I'm, I've never seen y'all, so I'm very excited. I know a lot of people are. You know, we had a lot of calls when the word came in that you guys were coming in to save the day, and people just ecstatic, like absolutely ecstatic in the South. So we're so glad Is to be here. I did want to ask something um, <laughs> about uh, the new song, it's Te true. Amo. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, the new song, Te Amo. How many yeah. different languages do you sing in there? How many different languages well, do you guys know? Words, so it's sort of cheating. You know, it's not really, but it's like I've been Italian, cheating. Spanish, French, and English. But I think ultimately, it's to create our own language. You know, that's that's what we like. Uh, we use we use them all just as tools for selfish reason, just to create our own. <laughs> Can you tell us something a little bit of background about the new single, J Boy? It was the first song that we finished for this record, and it was the first song that was good enough. You always look for that one that's good enough. You know it's going to stay on the record and you know it's going to be, um, you know, it's too good not to make it. So that's, it's a huge relief when it comes because you, 
it's the confirmation that all that hard work in the studio was was is going somewhere at least and you um you you know it's gonna it's you build you you're starting to build something do you usually pick your own singles or do you have like a producer or the com record company we says do, like this no we do uh we do do everything ourselves uh we it's so much we're so independent that we almost wish that we wouldn't do everything ourselves uh we wish we had more pressure from people around that would say you know well th three years is a long time maybe you should maybe that would be helpful but I don't think they're listening to your radio right now, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I love that. You guys are rock. Yeah, thank you guys for stopping by so much. We look forward to seeing you on the Hangout stage tonight. And um, We're talking to Phoenix, by the way. Hangout <laughs> <laughs> Radio so Thank y'all for stopping by the Zoo Station, and we'll thank be you. seeing you guys tonight. Thanks.